With over a 52% win ratio and still growing, same as the ban rate, from the beginning, Bard is definitely one of the greatest supports. That's why today we are going to deep dive in and watch how his mains are carrying their games. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoy, and let's get back in with Mycoplasma dealing with Akali, where a smooth flash was a moment of clean outplay. That just made it all cost. Okay. I'm Brad. Okay. I'm Brad. I'm For those who didn't know, like me, Tinman will show an easy way to deal with an enemy when no one from the team is able to get him, and he's running straight up to your turret to execute himself, not giving you any gold. This might be one of the cleanest fancy feet that I have ever seen so far in this season. Jin and Zarath are not easy to deal with in a 2v2. They forced Bard and Jinx to turn back, and they already have one guaranteed kill, but they need to land only one hit on Bard. Just better. <laughs> Pick on the bow. Excellent CC Larry. No opportunity for him to use the twisted advance TP now coming in, but they don't really have the damage again to burn through bow. Cabo's here. Oh, what? An ultimate Cabo ult oh. is gonna get slaughtered! KC! Obliterate BDS in the Kiana is not a problem for the blue team. Believe me, the red side only gains an advantage when the overfed Samira jumps into the middle of the fight and wipes everyone in a few seconds. Keep an eye and count how hard Bard is trying to keep her away from the battle. This time, the blue team is walking around the Nasher pit and trying to pick enemies one by one. However, enemies are not making any mistakes, and the blue team won't take a risk to get the buff when everyone is alive. However, we have one play that changed everything. Mint Concepts is another good guy with the next Bard tip. If Talia is surfing right into the middle of the fight, all you have to do is use Cosmic Binding straight up on her, and she gets stunned by her own ultimate.
Let's not forget that Sbard can hurst really hard as mage. Maybe it's not popular choice, but Kuni lovers of this style are still exist. Llama Lediction is great example how it could be broken after when you get three core items Espiali Storm Surge. No, 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 je me suis fait stunpil quand j'ai flash. The last fight was a great chance for a huge comeback for the red team, where they wiped almost everyone. They also lost their jungler, but still, they're going to risk taking the buff. I guess everyone believes that Bard can't do anything, however, this guy will show to never underestimate him when he's in good hands. Oh my god! Oh my god. And we're flying so close to where we belong. And we're trying to go somewhere new. This time the blue team is hard split. Lilia and Smolder went for the Drake and the rest are fighting 3v4 in the enemy base, where enemies are slowly gaining control. Bard is the one who still is alive, and keep an eye on how he disrespects the whole enemy team. Trying to step back and see the view from above Cause I know that nothing lasts forever And I try to crack this iceberg open Till it shatters through the ocean I wanna make sharp boys as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to send me your clips using the link in the description. Have a great day, stay safe, and see you next time.